Hi guys, it is Miss Russell and I'm going to show you the start of our zebra project. Our zebra project is going to have a lot of patterns and different kinds of lines in it. Before we start, let's talk about lines and different kinds of lines. Lines, you can see the ones here. We've got straight lines, wavy lines, but then there's all kinds of other lines. So we could have, here's our straight line. Here's our wavy line. But then we have a diagonal line. Diagonal lines could go two different ways. It could slant this way or it could slant the other way. There's two different diagonals. We've got zigzag lines. They're really sharp. We have other kinds of straight lines. This guy over here, our first one, we call that vertical. But then we also could do a straight line that's horizontal. So we've got vertical, wavy, diagonal, zigzag, or horizontal. We could also do a loop-de-loo. That one's kind of fun. It's like a ribbon or a spring. The ones that are hard to remember are the different kinds of straight lines. Your vertical, diagonal, or horizontal. I like to try and show that with my body. So I'm gonna have you stand up at your spot. Hello, there you are. And we're gonna show our different lines with our arms. So if we go straight up and down, we're vertical. We bring our arms straight out, it's horizontal. Or we could be diagonal. So vertical, horizontal, diagonal. And those are just some of our straight lines. We're gonna use these lines in our patterns today. We're going to take a really big piece of paper and we're going to fill it up with a line pattern. Well, first we might need to talk about patterns. Let's think. Think of a pattern using lines. Yeah, this one has a pattern using lines. Straight line, that's our vertical. Wavy line, vertical, wavy, vertical, wavy. Patterns have to repeat, otherwise they're not a pattern. So if I drew some different patterns here, maybe I could go horizontal, zigzag. Is that a pattern? Not yet. It has to repeat to be a pattern. So I have to keep going. Horizontal, zigzag. Horizontal, what comes next? You're right, zigzag. So that would be a pattern. Well, we're gonna take our big piece of paper. It's pretty big. The first thing we need to do is to write our name. So take your time. Write your name. There's my name, Miss Russell. This is the back of our paper. So now I'm gonna flip it over so I can't see my name and I'm ready to draw my line pattern. So I'm gonna first choose two different colors. Hmm, I think I'll choose this one and that one. 
And my lines that I'm gonna make, hmm, maybe I'll go vertical line, zigzag. Nice, big pattern, vertical line, zigzag. And I'm gonna keep going until I've filled my big piece of paper up with a really big line pattern. Now at your tables, you may have noticed that you have a bucket of crayons and these crayons are all peeled. They don't have any wrappers. I did that so that you could make crayon rubbings. What I like to do with peeled crayons is to take them, lay them flat on the table, hold them with your fingers, and then I'm gonna push down and rub. And my color will fill in. But what's really fun is to switch colors and take a new color, hold it with your fingers, and rub. You wanna go slow, that way you don't rip your paper. I like to rub colors on top of each other and see if they make a new color. So take your time, use all kinds of colors, and fill your paper up and see if you can make different colors by overlapping, putting color on top of color. Next week, we'll move on to another part of our zebra. This is called our background. So if you look at my zebra, you see behind him, the background is my line pattern with crayon rubbings. Thanks for creating with me.